Hi, Ty Holloway here with Holloway Bros Fishing. Uh, today in the vise we're tying a chubby Chernobyl. It's a fly that we fish all summer long as our dry fly in our dry dropper uh, application. Uh, we love the buoyancy of the chubby Chernobyl. Uh, you'll see in the video that I tie this uh, fly with like a little bit more uh, wing than you might see on a normal chubby. Uh, but uh, that is just to kind of add some buoyancy. We use uh, like a 532nd tungsten jigged bead underneath uh, the chubby quite a bit, which is a, a relatively heavy fly, so we kind of need that extra buoyancy to support that nymph. Uh, we like the chubby in that you can tie it in an array of colors, uh, imitating uh, different stoneflies and terrestrials that might be about, and uh, its lack of maintenance. Uh, we use this uh, in conjunction with uh, fly agra. Uh, or like an abilene, uh, but a, a floating of that sort, and uh, just two dressings a day, and uh, the fly is floating all day. Uh, so I hope you enjoy, and uh, this is one of our favorite flies, and uh, should be one of yours too. Thanks. Okay, today we're doing uh, the Chubby Chernobyl. Uh, it's a uh, stonefly pattern that we use a lot for dry dropper uh, application, and uh, the one I'm tying today is going to be kind of specific for uh, dry droppering uh, in that it has a pretty heavy wing uh, to get some buoyancy. We uh, often use it with a uh, 532 tungsten bead so we're looking for something buoyant enough to support that nymph. I'm going to start by putting the tail here. It's just about 10, 10 or so strands of, uh, in this case, uh, Peacock, Crystal Flash. The uh, color combinations are pretty endless with this fly. Uh, just a number of different uh, foam colors you could do and body colors. The body's going to end up being dubbing and and uh, so the, the possibilities are endless uh, in terms of color combos. Um, the chubby itself imitates any, any stone fly really um, but also uh, could be uh, terrestrials uh, Grasshoppers, big October caddis, any sort of any sort of large dry fly, really. And here, tying in just a uh, strand of foam, real thin piece of foam. This is just going to be kind of a, an underbody uh, for the dubbing. It adds, it does add a little bit of flotation, I suspect, but uh, it's mainly for me. I just like adding it to get a little bit of bulk in the body. I'm going to kind of loosely wind this up the body here not pulling too tight that kind of just compresses the foam and and it defeats the purpose of having it on there in the first place tie that off leaving a little bit of room there at the head trim that now we're going to dub our way back I'm going to do a, a, a kind of a, a coachman uh, color combo, so we're going to start with uh, kind of peacock eye stub here. We can add this, uh, I like, I like a pretty thick body here on my, uh, on these Chevy Chernobyls. I, we end up using about a quarter inch uh, thick strip of foam, so I like dubbing the body wide enough to where that foam isn't really overhanging like a uh, kind of just like a nice flush I have it be a nice and flush with the body with the dubbing start that about there we're going like a third of the way back so there's um, the front third being the peacock ice dub. This middle third here, we're doing a uh, a red ice dub. there. 
that's enough for the red. Going to go back to the uh, peacock eye stub here to finish off the body, the last, uh, the final third of the body. We've always done a lot of dry dropper fishing uh, out of the drift boat here, uh, where we fish uh, locally. Um, prior to using the chubby, we used a lot of uh, uh, like half down golden stonefly patterns and uh, um, like uh, Moorish October caddis, uh, you know, other other foam, other foam stonefly um, uh, patterns to support our nymph. Uh, but we, when we started using the chubby, we could really, or when the chubby came out anyway, we could really uh, add weight to our nymphs and still get a, uh, you know, still have the dry fly support the nymph, the chubby support the nymph, uh, and it really improved our fishing because we were able to use uh, just heavier, heavier nymph uh, in conjunction with the, uh, you know, with the, with the chubby Chernobyl. So here I'm just going to bring advance my thread a little bit forward to where it's uh, kind of right at the hook point there, hanging down. I'm going to tie in my foam. So I've cut a piece of foam here uh, that's approximately a quarter inch uh, width. It's two millimeter foam. Uh, in this case, br uh, brown. I like the brown kind of in, in combo with this uh, Coachman pattern. Uh, I'm going to tie it in on top here. We're going to have the the butt of this um, kind of extend about two-thirds of the way back uh, into our tail there, so right about there. Couple wraps. That should do it. Nice and square on top is important. Now we're going to take our wing here This is a white sparkler merger yarn, and I've taken. Uh, it comes in. Uh, it comes in kind of a skein, and, and I've taken like uh, four strands of it, put it together, and then uh, using a comb or a toothbrush, just brushed it all uh, into one to make it one. Uh, you know, one material there. I'm gonna tie it in on top. I'm gonna have this uh, for now. Just kind of extend a little bit past the uh, past the foam, just slightly. Have that tied in right on top, right in the center, just like that. Now, <clears throat> taking some more peacock eye stub here. Take, I'm going to pull this wing back, in effect kind of doubling the volume of the wing and wrap this dub rope through there. And, and notice I didn't tie the, uh, I did not tie the wing down, I just kind of used that dub to kind of pull it, pull it back or have it stand back. It's not actually tied down on, that, on those second wraps. Gonna cut that even with the wing. Going back. That's our back wing there. Now I'm gonna take our legs. We've got uh, local legs in turtle grass here. Actually, usually, usually put those in before doing the dub. Just kind of spaced it. Do a little dub rope over those. Okay, now we're going to advance our thread forward. 
forward and we kind of pull down tight here just to go get through that dubbing just so we're not seeing our thread right about there gonna pull our thread down or our uh, foam down we want to get it kind of taut here pulling our foam forward there now what I should have done on that on this on this back section here and I just spaced it I'm gonna tie these rubber legs in first Uh, dub through there kind of spreads those legs out and make makes them look more uniform. We're gonna take our remaining wing here. Same thing. We're gonna tie this directly in on top. We want we want this forward wing, this front wing, to extend back and be kind of even with the uh, end of our back wing there. So right about there. like that. We can trim this now. Pull our wing back, get it even. Trim off the excess. in front of our wing. Again, not tying the wing down. Just kind of using the uh, using the dub. To help kind of lay it back. there and we are complete in the process of attaching materials one of the active ingredients of this fly I think is is the just the the head here um, so we're gonna clip this and have it just extend uh, maybe just an eighth of an inch or so past the eye just like that We can, I like this taking just a, just a little bit of a cut to the to the edge or the point of each side of foam there. This gives a kind of a clean look. I'm going to shorten our back piece of foam up just a little bit. Same thing. Taking just a little bit of the corner off there with our scissors. Shorten our legs up a little bit. Perfect. So there you have it, our, our chubby Chernobyl. So this one, this might be a, a little uh, more volume in wing than you might uh, uh, might typically see, but we like that. We want uh, we want a real buoyant fly here uh, to support those uh, those heavier jigged nymphs that we use kind of in 
in conjunction with this fly in our hopper dropper rig. So this is the uh, Chubby Chernobyl with the uh, with the uh, uh, Royal body scheme color there on the bottom. I uh, use this fly all summer long and uh, um, can't have enough of them in the box. So there it was, the Chubby Chernobyl, uh, one of our favorite flies for dry dropper fishing. Uh, like I said, we use it all, all season long and uh, should be a favorite of yours too. Thanks for tuning in and uh, subscribe to Holloway Bros Fishing for uh, more informative uh, fly time videos. Thanks for watching.